Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are again back on Enigmatica 2 Expert. And we are the novices. I'm playing this with Jude, who now has uh, changed his name to be Judaicus, but we'll just call him Jude. So we're having a lot of fun with this pack. He's on, I'm on. We're just kind of playing our own little thing, but we're both here uh, every so often. We're going to take a look at the quest books really quick because we've done a lot of things here, especially Jude. He's gone in here, he's completed com all of uh, the. That's a gate. That's not what I want. All of, no, that's not what I want either. Immersive engineering, he got the whole thing done. We were close um, with the forestry. We just need to get the uh, apiarist's armor, which takes some bees that we just don't have. We'll get into that probably a little bit later. Um, I have been working with industrial craft, and of course we haven't done very far with this yet, and that's okay. I also took a little bit of time, and I opened up industrial foregoing, just so we got to basically get some plastics. But we basically can make any of these machines now that we need and can do that, um, like I said, if we need. But what I want to do for today is something that I think is very important, and that is applied energistics. I cannot find anything in this place. We've got like 16 different rooms, and there's stuff here, and there's stuff there, and it's crazy. So we're going to try to do this really quick. Let me just say how crazy this is, okay? This is kind of like the main room. We have, um, like, this is supposed to be quest rewards are over here. But, I mean, I didn't know a stone gear with a quest reward, but it is. And uh, we have, like, some stuff here. Looks like some stuff that was armor and some weaponry. And this looks like, um, yeah, some of the industrial thing that he was working on. Um, I've started this part up for stuff that I need for IE. Oh, look, we got coal and stuff and plates over here. And, you know, it's like crazy. You've got food and we've got a room here. And then you got to go downstairs. And you got some stuff here. Another, it's just all over the place. It's crazy, okay? So, uh, I really think if we got a unified storage system, that this would help. And I'm going to start in on this right away. So, that's what we're going to do. So, the first thing is, says there is no applied energistics, energistics chapter. And what they mean by that, it looks like if you look here on all of these, I don't see applied energistics. There is nothing here as far as quest. Hey, you can do it, but it's not really part of their quest line. Just, just one little gate that does this, Okay. It says, but it, immersive engineering, industrial craft, forestry, acquisitions, and industrial foregoing. Did I say that wrong? Anyway, open up for the mod. So we've got to get this thing done, okay? Now, you can see, first of all, we need an energy acceptor. And that I already had from a quest. We already got some discs and things. I have one machine case. That is also necessary. So we need to get another machine case. We're going to need to get fluid stuff. Skystone block, that should be easy. I think we have skystone around here someplace. Um, I just have to find it, and I'll do that in a minute. So let's do, let me go look around for Skystone. And there we have some Skystone block, and that is for Applied Energistics. So we're going to take that down here, and that'll be enough for that. Okay, there we know we have that. Excellent. And now, we got to get basically another machine case. And a machine case takes plastic. It takes, which we got now, an advanced machine casing, which I'm not sure if we have that, and reinforced stone. Um, and there's some reinforced stone down there that I put when I was playing around a little while ago. But I think we got some reinforced stone in here. And if we don't, it's probably somewhere else in one of these chests. Yeah, reinforced stone. See what I mean? Everything is all over the place. So we have some reinforced stone. Uh, we need to get some plastic, which that's very easy. Uh, one of the things I did kind of like in a little, like a stream session a little bit, was I was over here and I made a bunch of... Uh, of these uh, tree fluid extractors. They extract out latex, which goes in the machine here, which makes the latex processing unit, which, ow, high voltage. I didn't mean to jump. I don't know why it jumped there. Wait, why is auto jump back on? Uh, controls, which is, I don't know what happened. Okay, anyway, water goes in here and it feeds that and we get a bunch of this plastic here or this uh, tiny rubber. So we'll take that, and do we have enough space for... No, it was only... Okay. Anyway, we take that, we make it into um, the... We craft them into bigger pieces. So if you think about this like this, and you get tiny dry, dry rubber, and if we do that again, we got two stacks of tiny dry rubber, and you put that in here, and you get plastic. I mean, that's really easy. We have plastic now. One of the things we need is charged surface quartz. As you can see, it's right here. I remember when I did that in the first episode... Okay, let's see if we can get this. Here we go. And we got four of the charged surge quartz. That's excellent. We need a lot of fluix crystals. Basically, take a charged surge quartz, a nether quartz, and a redstone into a puddle, and wait, and you'll get fluix crystals. Okay, so now I have a total of 20 
charged service quartz. And I've got some of this here. Let's move some stuff out of the way. So I'm going to throw all this in some water and get some flux crystals. Now, it looks like it's getting very dark. We should be able to do this pretty quick. Over here is a little pool. So let's just throw all this out here. Hopefully, I won't pick it back up. And back. And it should turn into flux crystals. There we are. And that's what we needed. We got 40 of those. That's excellent. Okay. Let me go rest here so we don't get any monster spawning. Now that we've slept, we need to make basically four of these ground down. So we're going to go downstairs and use the macerator. We need four of these. Okay, so let's do that. One, two, three, four. You can see that Jude has upgraded it. These are really noisy. But we'll get four of these right now. And then we're going to take that and we're going to make the things that we need here. Okay. So almost done. There we go. Okay. Let's go back upstairs. Run over here. Okay. So we need to make this right here. The Fluix Pearl. That's why I needed the four that were dust. We need four regular uh, of the uh, Fluix Crystals. We've got that. So that piece is good. We also need Fluix Blocks. We need two of the blocks. So we'll grab that. Basically that. Two blocks. I guess it's just four. Okay. So we got two blocks. That's excellent. So basically here... If we look at the quest, we, that might, Siri just started to wake up. I don't know why I didn't talk to it. Anyway, <laughs> nice interruption. We have the blocks. We have all of this and all this. We got to get this control circuit board. Okay. And this is going to take a little bit of time. Okay. Um, so we got to get four elite control circuits, two bioplastics, one circuit board, and uh, let's see, two copper coil blocks. Now we might have the copper coil blocks somewhere else. I'm not sure how to make it. I know Jude would know how to make it. So I'm going to look this up right now. We're looking for the copper coil blocks. It's just eight LV and an iron, right? And I see seven of it right here. So we're going to take that. So how do you get the LV coil? He has done all this. He would know right away. Looks like it's just getting um, copper and a stick. And copper is just copper plate per thing. So we need uh, four... We we'll need basically two of these, eight, right? And we need to get one more. So we need 12 copper plates. Okay, let's go check our copper plate store. And we don't have any copper plates, but apparently we've got a lot of gold plates. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to get some copper here. Throw it over there, make some plates, and make it down in, and make the LV coils, and make the coil, uh, whatever the thing was called again. I can't remember the name of it. The copper coil block. Yeah, let's do that right now. And there's a second copper coil block. Okay, I'm going to put that over here. Okay, so we got that figured out. That was kind of easy. Now, what else we got to do here? Well, we got to get two of these bioplastics. And bioplastics looks like it's in a manufactory. Manufactory, not factory, factory. And it basically just takes sugarcane. So we don't think have this yet. Let's go look at that. What does it take to make it? Manufactory. This is a nuclear craft. It takes most of the stuff lead ink, as we have redstone, we have pistons. This is pretty darn easy. So we got to make copper solenoids. It takes copper item casings, copper plates, aluminum rods. That's kind of expensive, but we can do that. So we can do all of this, okay? Let me uh, go and get that done. To make the manufactory, we need a copper solenoid. We have that right there it is. And then we should be able to make this right here. Oh, we need to get some flint. Uh, flint. Where would I be if I was flint? And would I be back here? In here maybe? Yes, there is some flint in here. There's a lot of flint in here. Okay, <laughs> manufactory, there we are, we've got that. Now, will I get a quest? I don't know. Yes, it will, we'll grab that in just a second. But anyway, this device goes right here, and it should get power right away, which is what we want to see. Let's go get that uh, quest. Uh, that actually opened up nuclear craft, that's interesting. Four advanced platings or loot chest. I'm uh, going to go with loot chest, the bottom one. Let's see what we get, was it worth it? Man of dust, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so now we've got to get some uh, sugar cane, right? So let's see. Oh, wait, there's some right there. And if we take the sugar cane back down and throw it in there, that's actually what the exact amount we need. This should make those plates. There we go. We got two of the bioplastics. And that's another piece that we have this puzzle for this circuit board that we need. So we got all of that. That's pretty awesome. Now let's go back and look again at what else we need here. For this. No, not that. For this. We've got those two, those two. Four of the blue uh, circuits, they're the elite control circuits, and a circuit board. What does this take? Okay, on the engineer's workbench, first of all, we need to have a crafting components, okay? So let's go get the crafting components uh, blueprint. Now, where is that 
engineer's workbench. Oh, here it is. And cook, which one is this? It doesn't tell you. Crafting components. Okay, so we need that. That was one. And we're going to make a circuit board, right? That's what we need to make a circuit board, it said. And that takes insulating glass, a copper plate. I think I have a copper plate. Okay, so we have a copper plate. That's good. And it takes vacuum tubes. And vacuum tubes is just nickel, that, that, and that. Okay, so we make some vacuum tubes up pretty quick. Right, we need to make some first. We need to make some of the uh, insulating glass. And I think it's this is the recipe, if I was looking at it right. And there's insulating glass. That works. Now over here, we can make the vacuum tubes, which takes redstone. It takes the copper wire. It takes nickel plate. And it takes the stained glass. Or basically any glass. So we got two of those. We need two of those. Two redstone. And two of that. And we get six of the vacuum tubes, right? So now we should be able to do that. What was a vacuum tube? Two vacuum tubes and uh, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, we'll go look. Because <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, Copper plate. Oh, I need a copper plate. And the copper plate. And there we have the circuit board. Okay, so that's a lot of what we need here. The last thing we got to do here is we have to get these elite circuits, okay? And the elite circuits are not too terribly difficult. We do have to get this either this red thing or the, uh, the advanced circuit there or the advanced control circuit. Reinforced alloys, we can make that with the uh, enricher downstairs, I think it's called, and the redstone, okay? So let's get... Basically, to get four of these, we need 16 of these and a bunch of redstone. Redstone's easy. So let's go and get this. It's just iron and redstone. We got this. Let me go make those up. I noticed in this chest here that uh, Jude had already made some advanced control circuits and some basic control circuits. So this should help, although it won't complete everything. Because we're looking for the elite control circuit. We're looking at this blue one here. And basically, we've got one of those. But we cannot make any more because we're missing the center component. But if you look here... This thing that takes here is basically it takes um, some gold glowstone dust and some lapis. Well, we should have all that right here, glowstone and lapis. And apparently I just got the quest for the elite control circuit. That's fine. Let's go back to here. And so if we, here we can do two more of these. And if we do that, we should be able to get two more of these. So really, we're really close uh, to getting the last one, which is awesome. Let me go and do that, and then we're going to get that loot chest. This is actually easier. It just takes osmium and redstone. And it looks like it just takes one piece of redstone and osmium to make the green circuit, which is <laughs> really easy. So this elite circuit actually isn't that terribly difficult to make. So there's that. And again, I'll go back upstairs where we're doing all this. Okay. And we're going to go into here. We're trying to make the this right here. We'll hit that. And there that is. And then we'll make the last elite circuit. And there that is. And so now we should be able to make the control circuit board, right? Oh, it's all the other stuff in here. There. And now we'll make the control circuit board. And there that is. Finally, we got that. And so with that and this, let's see, we need this, this, and this, and this. All these things. We should be able to make the controller for the AE system. Which, uh, where is it? It's in here someplace right here. And there it is. We've got the AE controller. That's excellent. So that has locked that up. Or unlocked it, I should say. And now we get the two. We go 64 pure sardis, pure, pure fluor, fluor, fluix crystal, or pure nether quartz. Um, I'm going pure uh, pure sardis quartz. That always seems like that's hard to get. So I'm getting that. Okay, and there we go. A gate of applied energistics is done. So now, again, there is nothing here with applied energistics. So we kind of have to go on our, on our own by using the, what we know from JEI and from previous things. I said I was going to get this quest here. Let's get this one. Let's get this loot chest. And uh, let's see what that one has in it. An iron wood table. Okay. I'm not sure where we want to put that. We have eight of those tables. So we have this room over here. Um, I'm going to put down... There, we got a table. Nice. Okay. Let me clean up what I have in my inventory. We're going to try to move on with this applied energistics. One of the first things we're going to need is an inscriber. This actually makes things for all of Applied Energistics. We're going to have this right here. Now, what I've done is in this other room, I'm not sure where we want to set this up, but for now, I set it up in this other room right here. 
I figure I'm going to have the drive bay and access over on this side, and this side will be other tools like the inscriber. And there we go. So that's set up. Now, we really should try to see if we can make this faster because it's always beneficial to have that faster, and that takes acceleration cards. So let me go take a look at that right now, and let's see what we can see here, okay? So we have these cards here. It's a base card, and I think it's called acceleration. Is it not? Acceleration card, which just takes a base card and crystals, and we have some of these. So basically, let's make this, and look at this. This is kind of easy. It's iron, it's diamonds, it's redstone, and... We have to get, to get two of these cards, and we want four, it takes calculation processors. So this is the key here, and we need two of these. And two of these basically is printed silicon, redstone, and printed calculation circuit. And printed calculation circuit is pure Certus quartz crystals in the inscriber with the calculation press. So let's go look here. I thought we had the presses somewhere. I thought we had the presses somewhere. Am I not seeing it, or is it over here? Okay. Calculations, calculations. There's a calculation, and we have two of those. So if you put this into here, you watch how slow this is. And this is one of the reasons why we have to speed this up as much as we can, as fast as we can here. We're going to take that, and we're going to put this in here. And you can see it's going. It's not bad, but it could be zip, 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 you know, really fast. There's one of those, and one of those, and that's excellent. Now, we need a printed silicon, right? Um, so let's go with that. That's... Uh, this piece right here, and it's silicon. How do you get that? You get the silicon from two silicon ingots, it looks like, unless there's another way. There's Ender IO silicon. Let's look what that one is. See, there's Apply Energistics. Ender IO is that one too. Hmm. There might be different ways to get silicon. Now, let's take a look because I really want to see. Uh, it looks like if we do uh, Material Stonework Factory, the crusher, if you crush. Uh, sand, you get it. And that's interesting. So this sort over here, we have a bunch of sand. Let me grab that. And let's go see if this works in our, um, the macerator. What happens when we put sand in here? Is it not going to work? It doesn't work with that. Okay, so that's not it. So how else are we going to get this? I really don't want to get these ingots because this looks kind of like a pain. It's like silicon dust, which is that thing. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, alloy smelter... Trying to find out. This is sand in a manufactory. Basically, sand will make that. Okay, and we got that right there. So I put the sand. There we go. And you can see it's losing, losing, or losing. It's losing and using a lot of energy. But there we got some of that. So that should be enough for what we want to do. And if we take that, we get the silicon. And that's not too bad to do. Okay, that was fairly easy. I don't like how the power draw was there. Was whatever. But um, let's go up here. We got to get the printed. Got some redstone here. And we need a printed silicon press. That one, not printed. It's just the inscriber press. Let's go get this done here. Come on. Okay. So we'll take this piece out. We got two of those. Put this thing in, and we're going to put two of these. I can't do two. I got to do one at a time. That's what I mean. It's just crazy. And later on, we can get an advanced inscriber, which will work a lot better. Let's get that. Okay, so we're going to put that down there. Let's take this out. That there. Why won't let me put that in? There it goes. And redstone. And this will give us the calculation processor. Really quick. Come on. There it is. Another redstone. Another one of those. One of those. So we got the two calculation processors. There we go. Ah, oh, awesome. Let's make some cards here. There's two. Let's do it again. And there we are, the advanced cards. And the advanced cards just takes crystals, flux crystals. So we've got that. So it should be just like this. One, two, three, four. So there. Now we have that. Now, just to give you an idea of how fast, how much faster this goes. Let's go put this in the inscriber. Okay. And here we are. And there's an Enderman somewhere. Oh, this only takes three. I thought it took four. Oh. Hey, you're going to die. Or I'm going to die. Any pearls? Any pearls? No pearls. Oh wait, a pearl. Wow, that's really loud. So let's see here. Let's we were gonna take this and we already have the calculation process. Let's just do one more and see how fast it goes. Zoom, that's it. Done. This will be very helpful when we have this thing uh, upgraded for speed. 
The next thing I want to make is the ME drive. Now, this does take a disk drive, which I have already created, but basically the disk drive is pretty, uh, not that hard. The chips and things are okay, but I've made all of the components here, including the engineering processes. Same thing we've done here, except for these take diamonds, okay? And I need to get the iron casings, and all of that should be right here. Uh, yeah, get that out of there. Okay, and we should be able to make the ME drive, okay? And there it is. We got it on us. And we have the drive, disk drives that I've got from an early quest reward, if you recall. And this is going to go in here, okay? So we're going to put it on this side of it right here. Okay, and we're going to put the two disks in there right now. So this is a working storage system. We just can't access it yet. We have to get basically a grid and specifically a crafting grid. So I'm going to work on that next. And by grid, I mean terminal. I get them always confused. Basically, we're going to have to make a, that bench. The calculation processor, again, is a circuit, is a uh, printed calculation circuit. And I think we've gotten almost enough to do that right now. I've got, uh, no, I put that stuff away upstairs, I think. We can make that. Okay. But we're going to make that the ME crafting terminal. We have to make this, which is just a logic processor, which is gold with logic and these things and the screen here. So let me build all of that stuff up right now. Okay, let's make this terminal. Okay, the terminal, first of all, takes the crafting table, which we have right in front of us, as you can see right there. We'll be using that in a second. In fact, let me let me uh, get that in just a second here. Okay, we'll use that one that's right there. So we're going to make, first of all, this ME terminal. And the ME terminal first takes this illuminated panel, which takes... Quartz glass, which I've made, and glowstone and iron. Okay, so we got to do that right there. And, of course, I was not in the, the grid. And there it is. So we got three of those on us. Great. Okay, so now we're going to, uh, we have a logic processor on us. Make a formation core. It takes a pure surface quartz, fluix dust, and a logic processor. And we have two of those. And we'll do the annihilation core. It takes dust, another quartz, fluix, and logic processor. And, of course... The one thing I didn't bring down with me was nether quartz. Let's go get that really fast. It's right up here. There's some. Make sure we have that on us. There we go. And we'll run over here. Okay. And we're going to do that again. There we go. Annihilation core. And we got that, right? So with everything there, we should be able to make this ME terminal. And that's what we want right there. So now let's grab this here. That's all we needed. And we're going to make a crafting terminal. Terminal. We have this already made. The ME terminal and the crafting terminal is complete. And that's awesome. Now, I was given this, I think. I don't know where this came from. I'm assuming it was a reward because I got 32 of them. I didn't make this. But anyway, I should be able to put that in right there. That's a, going through this line. It's kind of like a data line. And if I did this right, and if it is what I think it is, I should have put that right there. And then we have access to our storage system. So now... I can put this stuff in here just like this. And there we go. That is inside these drives here. And you can see this says it's got some items here. This has some items in here. And we can access it right there. Now, usually I sort it by number of items. So you can see we have 60 of the purest Turtles Quartz. Okay. I also set this up for the search to be basically JEI synchronized. So when I type up here, if I want to type in Fluix, you can see the JEI on the right side of it is still functioning. So there you go. We have access to a storage system right now. Now, one thing I want to do with this, though, is certain things are better handled with storage drawers, which we have access to. Things like compacting drawers will work really well for ores and that sort of thing. So I need to work with Jude to figure out where we want our storage room and basically crafting area, and this will work. So this is awesome. Anyway, what's going on here? I hear stuff being like farmed upstairs, I think. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I've run out of time, guys. I did this as fast as I could. Got a storage system. We are set now. So, yes, we can do stuff and get rid of this mess. So, hopefully, Jude and I, over the next day or so, will go through here and get it all organized. I got to talk with Jude to make sure we can kind of figure out the plan. But it's going great. So, hey, I hope you like this video. If you do, please click that like button. It, hey, if you're new here, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And, of course, put the comments down in the description. Wow, I messed up my outro. I like say the same thing like almost every video. And this time I didn't. What is with that? I don't know. I must be distracted or something today. Must uh, be really excited. So <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you are excited too. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.